Well, it's November the 18th. Just getting in the stand. Just getting off work. It's about four o'clock, so I got about an hour and a half. But I'm in the same stand at Macy Shutter Doe the other day. So, hopefully, we'll see something tonight. It's the coldest day of the season so far. It's highest didn't get out of the 40s today. It's supposed to get down into the 20s tonight. So, they say this is about peak time of does and estrus here, so maybe we can catch a buck coming off a doe trying to find another one. But we'll see. Should be a good evening. Well, it's November the 20th. Back here in my stand on the back 20. Coming in, I bumped a deer off of my little food pot here. I couldn't see any antlers, so if it was a bucket, one a big one. But there's some fresh tracks in the scrape that I got behind me, about 50 yards. It's about 60 degrees. Hunting with my bow, even though gun season's in. I still like to get a buck with my bow. If a doe comes by, I might shoot a doe with my bow tonight. But we'll see what happens.
last month of deer season was a struggle to say the least. I can definitely say it wasn't for lack of effort. I continued to do some running gunning. I tried some still hunting. I even hunted from the ground a few times in areas where it was hard to get a stand. I even resorted back to my old faithful strategy and put out some corn. Cause at this point in the season, I'm doe hunting to try to get more meat in the freezer. I saw her go down over here. Um, I didn't get to, get to film it with this camera, but I had the Tacticam on. Um, like I said, I saw her fall. She's right over there. this morning uh, overslept and got in here a little late it's getting in just at daybreak it's freezing cold this morning it's 19 degrees feels like 12 by far the coldest morning we've had all year it's December the 26th the day after Christmas um, but yeah first deer I've seen in the last 10 sits I've had. Crazy. Oh. But, uh, I, said, I think I got the shot on the Tacticam. She came out on the path here. And so, 
I had to shoot real quick. I had to stop her. She got nervous. So, I didn't really have time to do anything but shoot her. But, uh, sit here for a few minutes. Go and get my backpack, my gloves. And then we'll come back and get her out. Well, came back to the truck. Try to warm up a little bit. And then go get get the dough. Sunrise coming up, pretty morning. Songbirds were everywhere, saw rabbits, squirrels. Just feels good to finally get something on the ground, get some meat in the freezer. Just get into Look like I won't even get nothing. I was just thinking this morning in the deer stand, like this might be the first year in six, seven years that I won't get a deer. But uh, luckily enough, something came out this morning. Deer stand is right there. See the blur out of here. Jerky and deer sticks. Well, I'll go ahead and get her gut out and drag her back to the truck. I'm gonna try this uh, deer drag that I bought. I bought it for when I go hunting public. I have to pull a deer a long ways. I don't know how good it'll be, but we'll try it out. Something like that.
Well, probably won't be able to go hunting but one more time this year. Season closes Friday. Uh, so I got one more week, but with work and all. This is my last real good chance. Like I said, I'm off Friday, New Year's. So I'll probably go to the end. But it's been a good season all in all. Changed up my strategy this year. Try some new things. Saw more bucks earlier in the year than ever before. Had a great rut. Um, late season though. Working and running dogs over here. The hunt club. Hardly saw anything. I mean, this is the first deer I've actually seen in the month of December. So thankful, blessed. It's good to get some meat in the freezer. I'm gonna make some jerky, so that'll be good. But uh, just thankful for the opportunity that we have to hunt and provide our own meat and be able to enjoy it. Thankful for public lands that we're able to get out on and. Do this hunting if you don't have you know your own piece of property it's important to have the public lands for this and most importantly thankful to god for his creation um, giving us food that we can eat for nourishment you know, it says in timothy that every creature of god is good for food and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving so i just want to give him the thanks for that it's been a great year. Hope everyone else had a good year. And we'll see y'all on the next adventure.